these this came out of uh, a deck that that DJI had put together about uh, kind of the benefits of using drone technology for surveying and mapping. And I don't know how familiar you personally are with this slide, but you have seen how people are using drones in this space. So do you want to talk a little bit about like why why drones are and how to what degree drones are taking over that industry and replacing traditional methods? Sure. It it is something that I feel like we have been talking about for a number of years. The only difference is, is that we see the number keep every year, keep ticking up and up and up further on the amount of drone usage, especially when you look at the platforms that have like DJI Dock, being able to take something completely autonomous. That's another lever that's gonna be able to help catapult the usage and adoption much higher. I would also say the price point for what the use case is of having high accuracy mapping, high accuracy thermal, um, high accuracy multispectral, a lot of those are helping get more adoption as well. So what we're using drones for in the survey world, obviously we're gonna improve the efficiency. When you're capturing with the drone compared to capturing on the ground, typically you're gonna get more data sources and more data points unless you're laser scanning, but you need to move that base around quite a bit. So the efficiency wise, you're getting much more data and much more refined data at a reduced cost. Uh, imagine how long it can take to go out and survey a very large site, especially when we're looking at earthworks where they can be 100 plus acres in size, that can take a long time, whereas it would take only one flight with the drone. Enhanced safety. We've got a lot of different safety factors to be able to make sure that our drones fly well all the time, uh, redundancies on sensors, as well as just being in this space for so long now and using obstacle avoidance and RTK, being able to just help the safety on the job site, even when it comes to outputs and understanding where is a safe environment. And then all the data that you're getting out of it, 2D maps, elevation, topography, 3D models, LIDAR point clouds, and we look at the Matrice 300 series, there can be so much incredible value that drones can bring, especially for the price point. So uh, to me, uh, in the drone space, when we talk about solar inspection, it's pretty much an industry standard that it's done by drones. If, they're, if you're in solar and not using drones, like you are likely leaving money on the table, you're just doing things in a way, it's like riding a horse and buggy uh, across country. It's why, why do it if you have another option? Is surveying and mapping getting to that point in which it's like every surveying organization is using drones or are there some that are, are hesitant or, or dragging their feet to, to turn over to this new uh, way of capturing the data? Yeah, another good question. And it seems like just depending on the territory, depending on, who is using it and who isn't. Um, you can see one client, one company within one city as they start utilizing drones, it seems like the other adopter or the same other companies within the same city are looking to adopt. Um, there really haven't been a whole lot of technologies out there that are gonna be doing that uh, scanning for you other than drones. And so mm -hmm. that's another reason why the adoption is going so much higher. I mean, there's, you have your traditional base stations, the base stations are getting much more accurate and getting much more density, but beyond that, it does seem like the technology is stagnated a bit, getting those sensors up in the air, flying over the job site. It isn't quite as crazy as adoption for solar panel inspection, that makes so much sense, but we're not far behind and construction seems to be one of those biggest drone industries. Gotcha. Um, oh, okay, these are animated slides. Uh, all right, so this is just another way to illustrate that. I, I know that Nikhil from Raptor Maps a long time ago said to me, uh, or said uh, that uh, inspection of solar panels is six to 10 times faster with a drone than it is traditional methods. And that has always stuck with me. And that's why I talk about solar is basically like, drones are in solar without a question. With surveying, looking at data like this, uh, being able to compare time and looking at savings, like these are the kind of snapshots that really help you make justifications to your buyers, uh, to uh, executive teams within organizations. Uh, it, they want something quantifiable. So is there anything about this that rings true? Or I mean, is there anything about these numbers that you want to add any uh, color to? Sure. So I would say the biggest reason why we bring up this slide is because of scalability. 
honestly, if you're if it's taking the same amount of time or close to it as traditional surveying methods, but the outputs are better, we're still going to be seeing adoption because of those outputs. And we do believe that the outputs are better. But when we see such an improvement both on outputs and on time to implement that survey, that's where you go from you know, just one drone program doing one or two sites, that's easily doable to all of a sudden it's on every single site because of the sheer amount of time savings. Personally, like I love the time saving stats. I'm more of a data head. And so I just, if the data is better, I'm probably going to do it as long as it doesn't take much longer. But this is scalable. When you all of a sudden cut your price, your time down by 8X, essentially your price down by 8X too.